If you often work on websites and you often work with WordPress, I'm pretty sure you are struggling with image sizes. Today I'm going to show you how to avoid that struggle when you work with Illustrator and WordPress. So let's imagine you changed the logo of your company and you changed it in Illustrator. Now you have to export the file in the right format, in the right size for it to work in WordPress. And that takes a lot of time and it's not really fun, but you can actually work around that and I will show you how to do it today. So the tool I want to show you today is called CI Hub. CI Hub is an asset connector, which means that you can connect assets. <laughs> you can connect them wherever you want them or wherever you have them. For example, in Dropbox or in Illustrator or in any other tool, also in WordPress. So if you have your assets just spread around, CI Hub is definitely the tool for you. On one side, CI Hub obviously makes you faster because you don't have to copy paste things and you don't have to go through the export and import processes. But on the other hand, it also makes you more correct because you can actually make sure that your assets are up to date without even checking for it. CI Hub will just do that for you. To illustrate that further, I will make an example. Your boss came to your table and he told you to change the logo. That obviously means you have to change it in Illustrator because you're a professional. But you also have to change it everywhere on WordPress, which means a lot of work, right? But I can actually show you how to do that in an easier and much faster way. So let's jump into a short session. I will share my screen and I will show you how I connect Illustrator to WordPress with CI Hub. So basically what you're connecting is Illustrator to CI Hub, Dropbox to CI Hub and WordPress to CI Hub. You can actually also replace those tools. There's also other tools that CI Hub connects with. I will definitely make sure to link that in the description as well, where you can check all the integrations for CI Hub. But for now, we are working in Illustrator. Illustrator has a CI Hub extension, which you can find under Window, Extensions, CI Hub. So let's open that. And then we'll add a new connection. You can find this under this plus sign here. So now let's search for Dropbox. I can now add this connection and I will be redirected to my browser and I successfully connected. So if I switch back to Illustrator, I already have my files here. I already have in my Dropbox an Illustrator file that I will um, use for this example. I already uploaded it to my Dropbox and that's why it's here. So now we are going to use that file. I will just simply click on that file and click on this little download sign here. It says use file. Now I will not make any conversions. I will just open the original file and I will open it in Illustrator. Then I will hit OK and CI Hub will open the file for me. Beautiful. So let's say we are tired of this page. We will change it to a much bolder color. So maybe some pink. Like that. OK, great. That's our new logo. Lots of changes going on here. I will just hit save and then close this file. You may notice that I did not save it as a PNG or any file that works for web. I only saved the Illustrator file. That's where the magic happens. I will now switch to WordPress. On my dummy installation here, I added the CI Hub plugin, which you can find directly in the WordPress repository. And what the CI Hub connector plugin does is it adds a button when you go to the media library and you add new files, it adds the CI Hub button. So we will click on the CI Hub button here and we will be prompted to log in with our CI Hub account. So that's what I will do now. Okay, and I will sign in. So as soon as that is successful, I will see the connections here in WordPress as well. So I can also search for Dropbox. I do the exact same thing as I did before. I already connected to my Dropbox. You may be prompted to a login window, but just log in with your Dropbox account and you will be safe. So what you can see now is basically the same thing that we saw in Illustrator just a few minutes ago. We see this Illustrator file that is still in my Dropbox and it's still an Illustrator file. So. Normally, normal people don't upload Illustrator files to WordPress because you can't display them. So what we'll do is just click on this Illustrator file, click on this um, download sign, and then 
pick a version we want. Let's maybe pick this size here and I can use it and I can click OK. And that will right away import a PNG to my media library. So as a reminder, I never exported a file from Illustrator. CI Hub does that for me. So once I close the CI Hub pop-up window, the image will be here. You can also see when you open the file that there will be some metadata that is already filled out by CI Hub. So if you work with metadata, that will be here as well. And that's basically the process. So as you saw, that was quite simple. But the magic is that it's simple and still so effective. So if you want to learn more about CI Hub, just check their website. They have lots of documentation on there. There's also a site on WordPress life hacks connected to CI Hub. So if you want to check that out, I will definitely make sure to put that link into the description for you to check it. Let me just mention two or three highlights that you may want to know about CI Hub as well. So the first thing I want to mention is that it's not only for Illustrator, WordPress and also for Dropbox, but for many other tools as well. I will um, add some logos here so you can see what tools are connected already. But if you want a really actual view of all the integrations, go to ci-hub.com slash integrations to find out what they are connecting to. Secondly, a very important subject for web creators is probably stock photos and CI Hub also has a solution for them. I already created a video about that, so maybe you want to check that out. I will also link it for you. And the last really nice thing for us web creators is small file sizes, right? And CI Hub has a rendition feature which allows you to temporarily get lower size images and then when you go live, switch them to bigger images. So that way you can be very fast in production because you don't wait for images to load. And then once you're ready with your maybe CDN or something that helps you load your images faster, you can get the bigger versions that are much more beautiful and smooth. So maybe you're now thinking that sounds all too good. I want to check this out myself. You can, and it's free. You can go to ci-hub.com slash user minus registration and go to get your free trial there. That will allow you to pay nothing and to check out everything. So definitely check that out. I am looking forward to read from you in the comments about what use cases you would want to see from me next with CI Hub and WordPress. Also, if you want more life hacks on CI Hub, just subscribe to this channel, hit the like button so you will never miss a video again. See you next time.